rosemary oil, cinnamon oil, lemongrass oil. Yeah. So, all right. In this video, we're reviewing that bug spray. With this Galaxy Watch Active. I've had this watch for about two months now. Um, if you've seen my previous videos, uh, I've been inactive because I had gout. So now, time to test it out. Uh, one bad thing I will say about this is the battery life is not that great. I've had it for a while now, and it only lasts, it won't even last two days. If you have everything, everything active, it will die on you, you know. So you can't use all the features. If you use all the features, it even drains even faster. So, that's the one real complaint I have about this watch. Um, I think I might have scratched up the, the front of it a little bit. You know, I don't put a screen protector on my stuff because, you know, I live, live on the edge and I like to scratch up everything. So... All right, so let's turn this on. We're gonna go for a hike. GPS is on. I want to. Main reason I'm out here is I want to test the GPS, see how how well it is when there's like trees all around and you're not in the city. All right, let's go. How's the water? Very refreshing. Got the rock slippery? Um, Alright, that's it for the hike. Stop. Alright, so we are at 5.07 miles. It says it burned 1,050 calories. I'm not sure how accurate that is. I have to look up how it does the calculation. Oh. Two hours, five miles, 1,000 calories. Max elevation of 412 feet, max heart rate of 171 beats per minute. That's kind of high. All right, so, whew. a little bit of bugs out. Um, bug spray kind of worked, I would say. You know, that's good. Um, <clears throat> so, what? So here's my review on this watch. Uh, I do. Well, all right. So, I'll, all right. So for the watch. Um, the one thing I didn't like about the watch is the um, these bugs in my face. No, the one thing I didn't like about the watch is uh, how long uh, the charge time oil lasts less than 48 hours, less than two whole days, so you can't use all the features to its ability. Uh, they also only give you one small charger with it, but like it's wireless, which is better than the Fitbit that I had before. But uh, if you get, you need another charger. I got a. Uh, another wireless charger from Samsung that I use. And I also bought an aftermarket one from on Amazon. That one, it overheats the watch. So you have to get a good 
second charger for it or you're gonna you're gonna lose that small little puck that they give you to charge a watch it's definite a uh, size factor is good you know if you had the other galaxy watch before it went with the bezel got rid of the bezel so like that be able to turn would be good they, do, they don't have that anymore um, also uh, I like how you can uh, you can see your text messages on it and you, you can control your music via Bluetooth and you can also store music on here as well and stream that to your headphones if you're if you use Bluetooth headphones but besides that I do want to see how good the GPS is um, and I'll put that up later all right, that's it for now. So I rewatched all the footage and um, forgot to uh, film an ending to this video. So uh, first, let's see, check out the map. Um, I'm sure you can see this, but the map actually came out pretty nice on the uh, the Samsung Health app when you link it with your watch. So that's really good. You get no cell phone signal out there, so uh, it's good to see that the actual map really works. You know, for me, that's a good feature. That's that's just one of the reasons why I got the watch. All right, so I do want to confirm that I did scratch my watch. There have a scratch on it, so you might want to get a screen protector for that. So, all right, so there will be links in the description below. Check those out. Um, if you're new here, please subscribe. All right, see you guys in the next one.